All right, so apparently we have to import persist from Zustan middleware and that's how it works. And then we'll just wrap our create callback in a persist uh, function so that it knows what to store in the local database, the Chrome local storage. All right, we have persist and now we will wrap our setter the set or get whatever we haven't get anything we can also get things but you don't have to worry about that just wrap it oh it's showing an error what's the problem all right apparently the problem is that you have to add a callback brackets before this i don't know how that works but all right we've done that now the persist should work and store everything in our local storage all right, now we are increasing the population and if we refresh it, oops, we thought the state would be maintained. Now what we were expecting here to happen is that bears would remain four and not turn to zero again, but instead we get an error. Let's see what this is. The error says that text does not match the server and HTML. Now the problem is that unfortunately the server sends what it sends as we saw before. The server is going to send the bears equal to zero value uh, from our server because that's what we set as an initial value and our client is going to look for the value in our client state as in the local storage that's that is causing the conflict something the text content uh, is rendering something else on the server because next js using server side rendering just renders everything on the server sends an html to the client but the client has a different value for the same thing that is causing the conflict. The solution to this is to get the same uh, thing from the server as in the same bears equal to zero. That is the initial state. Get that the initial state from the server and overwrite it with the thing that you have stored in the local storage of the client. That is bears equal to four. We can do this in a use effect hook and using a use state hook we can set a state for it let me show you how it's done let's get the bears in a different function than we are getting the functions from let's store it in a bears variable after we get this let's use a use effect hook that will set the state for the app now we have a bears state and now we'll set the bear state in the use effect variable. The use effect callback, sorry. And now it should work without any problem. Let's try it. A recap of what we did right here. We are taking the bears from the use store as we used to. We are creating a state variable for to store the value of the bears. And then we use effect to set the bear state to the bears that we're getting from the store as in the local storage all right let's continue let's store bear state in our bears and now we shouldn't be <laughs> getting the same error as before no matter how we change it we will not get the same error as before as you can see in the local storage the variable exists as well and now everything works, but we can't use this every time we want to display a variable, right? We There has to be a better way of doing this somehow. Right, since we're using all uh, use uh, effect hook, use state hook, use store hook, let's create a custom hook that compiles each and every hook and does it for us. So we don't have to write this again and again. Let's create a custom function or a custom hook that calls the bear use store and uh, gets the bear state and runs the use effect, sets the bear state and change the state whenever bears variable changes. Let's do that. In which we import use effect and use state. We'll export a function called use get from store. Uh, using use in this is very important uh, so that React knows that it's a custom hook. Let's get the store because we can have many stores in this thing. Let's give it any type for now. Uh, we'll check out the typing later. Let's get the callback that this store is going to get now. 
Let's take the store from the input and take the callback from the input and store the result that we get from this as the result. Let's create a use date object to return in the end of the thing. And let's create a use effect that will set the state for the use state as the result. Here it is. When the component mounts and whenever results changes, it will set the state as the result that we get from the store callback. And now we return the state. Let's check this out in the client. Instead of everything else, we are now going to create a new base state. We're going to get use get from store, import it from the store. Give it the store that we want to use for the callback. And then give it a callback that we are going to use for the use store. We're going to get state dot bears. All right. As you can see, we are not getting any recommendations right now because the state type is unknown. Now we're going to make it any to make TypeScript happy and re return the pairs. Boom, now everything works without any problem and we don't even have to worry about so much clutter, so much code. Let's check out the types. Uh, the types are still not working. We're not getting any recommendations as we were from the store, right? We are getting recommendations from the store. Look at this. All right, see, we get a recommendation from the store, but you're not getting a recommendation from the use get from store because it's a custom hook and it is not typed properly. We want the type of the state uh, from the store. Since we already have it in the store, we are going to use TypeScript generics. It's really hard to explain. So I hope you can learn what TypeScript generics are and then understand what's happening here. I'll just type it really quick. All right, now the state is being retur returned as the state of the use store that we're receiving in the function. All right, the bear is a number now. Let's use our function now and let's see if we get the recommendations from use store. Yeah, all right. As I was saying, now you can see it change. Right now it's unknown. As you can see, the callback state is unknown. But as soon as we give it the store, the callback state will be filled in by whatever the types that use store already has. So for example, if you can see here, use store, now they have been filled with store and actions. The state has been filled. And so has the store callback, which has the store and action types that we've defined in the store. Let's get the state. And now, we will have all the types. Boom. That makes me really happy. All right. I'll see you later. I think we should stop the tutorial right here. Bye.